All right, in this video, we're going to go over WordPress widgets. WordPress widgets are small blocks that perform specific functions. Oftentimes, these small blocks are added in the sidebars of each page or blog post. Some examples of these that you've likely seen when reading a blog post would be something like a search area, recent posts, calendars, and much more. So let's go through how to add a widget, reorder them, and put them on a blog post and see them live. And I'll also show you how to delete them as well. So let's dive in. All right, so we're back here in the dashboard again, and this is the widgets area. You can get to it by going to appearance widgets. And over here, I'm just gonna go to a blog post and just see how it looks right now. So the summer wrap up blog post, there is no sidebar with widgets in this. And I'm gonna show you how to add one to this post. So if we go over here in the right sidebar, we see it says products, and then right here, product categories. So there already are things in this right sidebar. So the issue here is if we go to post, I'll just open this in a new tab. We can go to summer wrap up, the same post here, hit edit. The layout is not set up to show a widget area or a sidebar area where these widgets would go. So if we scroll down here on the right side, it says sidebars. And right here, we're gonna change this. It says content, no sidebars right now. We're gonna say content, slash sidebar so the sidebar will be on the right side and let's just go up here and click update and if we refresh the post over here now we should have a sidebar with our widgets displaying on there so there we are with products and then a product categories the two that are showing back here products and product categories so let's say you want to add something else to this say you want to add a cart you can click and drag the cart and this is only going to be coming in on a WooCommerce type site or a plugin here and this theme has it built into it. So a cart option may not be there on a normal WordPress theme, but on Generate Press on this theme it is. One that will be there is something like calendar or archive. So let's just add a calendar as well. And how to do that is you just click it, hold it down and drag it and drop it over in here. You can also give it a title if you'd want. We can call it calendar and we can save it right here now what you can do is you can actually reorder it by dragging and holding and dropping it in another place so let's say you want the cart to be the first option you can do that and drag it up to the top I don't think you'd really want to have a calendar in here with these other two options maybe you'd want something like a contact form which you can do through happy forms and I'll drag that in there again happy forms is not going to usually be included but it is in this theme and I'm going to go here and I'll show you how you can delete one. So you just click on the one you want to delete, click delete here, and then it will update here in a second. And now we have these four. There is no actual save button to save these in it. So it will save once you click on it and hit save here or reorder it, it will save it automatically. So if we go back over there, we should see cart at the top, products, product categories, and happy forms when we refresh this page. So let's refresh it. Now we have cart. There's no products in the cart right now. It says products, product categories, and then here's a contact form that just doesn't really fit right in this area. But you get the idea that you can easily drag it and drop it in here. You might have to mess with the sidebar settings in the customizer over here to make it fit better for this area and have it less of a box layout. Maybe you have a full width layout and it would be over here and it wouldn't take us much room up for this contact form but you get the idea how easy it is to add in widgets in this area and remove them so let's say i don't want the contact form there anymore i can easily just remove it refresh the page over here and now there is no longer a contact form there it's just the cart products and product categories so it's really easy to get started with adding widgets and again, if you don't want widgets showing, you can just go to content, no sidebars on a theme like this. Now, not all themes are going to be this flexible, but with Generate Press, you have that option. And we can refresh it, and now we're back to the same look that we originally had there with the widgets not displaying. So I hope this video was helpful. In the next video, I'm going to get into one of the last in this series, and it's called Users. I'm going to go over the Users section on the left side. So... Let's go back over here and jump in the user section for the next video. All right, I'll see you there.